Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here, everything vaping related, Junkie Rock 13. My real name is Ross Sanders, and today I'm bringing you the Icarus Hybrid Genesis device. Now this device is from Drop Mods, um, made in Portugal. Um, we're going to take a close look at it, and then we're going to talk a little bit about it. Let's get right to it. Okay, folks, so this is the close up of the Icarus. Here we go. I am going to start off with the switch mechanism. Now, the switch is a bottom switch, fully mechanical, spring loaded. On the bottom, there is a design of the company that makes the Icarus drop mods. Okay. The one thing you will notice about this design, it is off center just a little bit, a little bit too high up there. It could have been down a little bit more. And it is uh, very smooth. It's not engraved deeply into the stainless steel. So it does have a smooth finish. And then you notice that the locking ring does have little round pits into it okay and the machining on this is very smooth this is it really feels like butter turning this okay then on top you'll notice that when this is all the way turned up and the mechanism pushes up and there is a little c-clamp washer that is holding the positive firing pin in place. I'm actually gonna show you how to disassemble this switch. You will need something flat. I'm just using this little flat head eyeglass screwdriver. And first things first, you will need to just simply pry up this little piece of black Delrin or plastic okay I just gently go around it and pry it up just a little bit as we go around and then once it's up enough I stick my fingernails in it and pry it up the rest of the way okay and that piece will come off right away alright and it is just a insulator piece of plastic here and you notice that there are two little vent holes in the bottom right there for escaping gases if the battery should vent and you're gonna take a little the screwdriver again and with this C washer C clamp right here just put it in there and I like to put my hands around it because I did have this thing fly away earlier. And just pry off that C-clamp until it comes off. Okay. Now you can take this switch mechanism apart. And there is your spring on the inside right there. Your bottom portion with a little groove. And that piece right there that holds the C wash it's a little sleek C clamp washer in there and then you have the spring right here now the spring is a little light spring if you are looking for a tighter throw or a more stiffer throw you may want to look into a stronger spring the spring just sits on that piece right there and then this section, the top section of the switch, the vent holes right there, the positive post in the center, and a separate stainless steel piece for your locking ring. 
okay? And there is the bottom of that piece, okay? I'll just reassemble this. And it is very easy to take apart and assemble for cleaning, okay? And then we'll just put that piece right back on there. Now, the best way I have found to put on this C-clamp um, is just to set it on there and take a little pair of needle nose pliers, put one end in the little center of the positive post and just squeeze it on there and there we go it's right back into place and then you'll just take the plastic piece and put it right back in there until it's down all the way so that is the Icarus switch very simple and very effective okay the top cap is actually a smaller chamber than other Genesis devices has a 510 drip tip connection on top um, I believe the air hole is a one millimeter I could be wrong on that um, I have not bored it out yet I plan on doing it this weekend to a 1 16th or a 1.5 millimeter and the inside of it and I kind of like the little step off right there a little different than some of the top caps they're usually straight down and this one has like a little little flare step right there here is your drip tip stainless steel drip tip that comes with it. it has kind of a cone shape very wide hole in the middle okay looks rather nice and it fits really nice and snug into this top cap okay the tube for the battery is a solid stainless steel piece with a thin I don't know if you can see that little the layer of carbon fiber there you go there's a good view okay and there is the tube for the outer casing of the carbon fiber which has a beautiful smooth finish on there um, the machining on the threading is very nice in this tube very nice touch to the hand and then the Genesis section you'll notice down here the positive post is a flathead screw that is adjustable okay when you do get this from drop mods the screw will be in the accessory bag with some extra o-rings and your positive screw will be in there and you also get a an extra spring and a I think there's a couple um, screws in there also but that is adjustable to different types of batteries the tank tube is right there I am not sure exactly sure of the material and how to pronounce it okay I'm gonna put that into the side of the video over here right here <laughs> I will put the name of 
the tank material, okay? Then on top of this Genesis device, you have three screws over here, three Phillips head screws, and then you have two very large wick holes. Okay, I believe to be three millimeters. I will double check on that. Um, a spring-loaded positive post right here with a little washer and a hex nut on top. Okay, now I did purchase the extra um, carbon fiber 18500 tube and I'm going to be using the 18500 tube for the video um, to show you how it looks and I will also show you how it looks with the 18350 tube. Okay? There are um, stainless steel tubes available on drop mods and there is a kick tube available that is stainless steel. So let's first assemble it with the 18350. Simply put on the Genesis section to the battery tube and then the battery right here positive up and the switch on okay now I am going to have to adjust that positive post because I pulled it I didn't screw it in far enough fifty fully assembled okay and whoa the eighteen five hundred and I'm gonna put a battery in because I'm gonna set up a coil with the eighteen five hundred in there. All right, now I'm going to put a wick and coil. Now, I do want to point out up here, the two wick holes here, you can have a U-wick right here, and this hole, or this screw, let me use my Phillips, this screw right here will come out and you can use this as a fill hole that one does go all the way into the bottom there and we'll put that back on real quick and these other screws that I'm taking out you'll notice if I take this little screwdriver and push it in that one does not go through to the tank okay there we go we'll just put that screw back in I'll leave that one up a little bit because that's where I'm going to nope I'm gonna build my coil on the other side Just bring that one down, loosen this one up. I'll 
take out my battery while I'm setting up this coil. And for this coil, I am actually going to use a different canthal than I normally use. And this is 32 gauge flat or ribbon canthal. So it is not round, but it actually is very flat. I know you're not gonna be able to see that on the camera, but I am gonna do another video specifically on this canthal and the differences that I have found compared to the regular canthal. So I'm just gonna put it in there and grab the Phillips head and tighten up my negative screw all the way down. And I'm gonna grab my already pre-oxidized wick. All right. And put it right in that wick hole when I tighten it up. Second, give me one second, folks. Okay, just had to move something out of my way. Okay, now I am going to wrap about four wraps around this wick. post then I'll pull down that little washer with my fingernails and just swing the canthal back through. Now I am going to grab my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut it right there for now and pull that out and try to straighten this out and make it as even as possible. Okay. Make sure the wick is not touching the positive post there. Make sure that washer is not over touching the post either, or the wick. All right, now I will put in a battery and the switch. And then I will just give it a, a little fire. Okay, now I pushed in the positive post a little too far. Let me just pull that out a little bit. You don't usually don't have to make the adjustments on the positive post. I just, when I was fooling around with it, showing you guys it, I adjusted it. And let's see if that's it. Okay, we're getting something there. All right, the top is a little hot. I don't wanna pop my coil. Let me just. It might be a little too tight up on top. Okay, let's see what we got there. All 
I do think I wrapped that too tight on the top, so I am going to loosen it up just a hair. Just going to take that out a bit, then push it back in to that positive post. So sick in the other room. Okay. All right. Let's see how we're doing here now. Okay. We're still a little bit short and out up there. But I think we're starting to look a little bit better. up on top I'm gonna move that down just a hair okay that seems to be looking really well now now because there is a spring loaded center post I am gonna cut off the excess and the bottom one I can just twist off now I'm just gonna grab my syringe filled with red white and blue juice oops and push it in straight up and down instead of at an angle piece of paper towel and dry that up see what it looks like as it wicks some juice up and there we go fire and nice nice vapor so I'll put on the top cap line up the air hole with the wick and there you go folks there is the Icarus fully assembled with the 18500 tube let's see how it vapes and I'll tell you what I think about it okay folks there you go here's the Icarus close-up the one thing I did not show on the close-up section of the Genesis portion of the close-up is the center tube in here has a serial number um, engraved on it I'm going to show you my serial number up close and you'll notice that it is 0002 so this device is the second it's not like I just dropped this screw on the floor. Okay. Um this device is the second Icarus made. Uh Pedro, the owner of Drop Mods, has number one. I have number two. I'm very happy to have number two. Um very impressed with the Icarus. It is very well machined. The threading is so smooth 
the quality and craftsmanship is really nice. The um, carbon fiber section is just a thin portion of the stainless steel tube. It's just a sleeve that is over the stainless steel section. Now he does sell stainless steel tubes if you are not into the carbon fiber or if you want to get the stainless steel to switch it up. It is not the same tube that is underneath the carbon fiber. It is actually the same diameter because the, the tube underneath the carbon fiber is actually thinner. Um, there is also a kick extension. So if you wanted to use an 18650, um, I seem to believe that with a kick extension and an 18500 tube and maybe some magnets on your battery, you will be able to use 18650s in this device. Um, size comparison, this is the 18500 to the 18650 Orion. So the Icarus in the 18500 is a little shorter than the Orion in the 18650. Okay, and let me show you how it vapes. Very nice. Um, solid vaping. Had no misfires on the switch. Um, no voltage loss. Very solid device. The machining and the craftsmanship is so nice. You know you have a nice quality device in your hand. The top cap with a single O-ring will not come off in your pocket. You can hold it by the drip tip and it will not come apart. The drip tip is in that top cap a little snug, okay? So the drip tip is not going to be coming off either. The one thing I am going to do to this device is bore out the air hole just because I like the 1.5 or the 1 16th inch air hole. I like a more airier draw but the stock air hole is working fine. Um, just for my vaping style personally I like the more airier draw. I can't say enough about the Icarus. It has been it has climbed right to the top of my favorites of hybrids. Um, I still love my Orion, I still love my Zenesis, but the Icarus is right up there. It is a quality, uh, nice device. The one thing that could be an improvement is an 18650 tube. I do prefer an 18650 hybrid. In the manufacturing stage of the Icarus, I spoke to Pedro, uh, the owner of the drop pods, and he said the machine that they were using, that the machinist was using, couldn't, it was not capable of machining out a tube for the 18650. So I, I'm not a machinist, so I don't know why that is, or but um, uh, the 1850 with the kick tube, I think will so satisfy my 18650 battery fetish. Okay, um, that's the Icarus, folks. If you want to check them out go to dropmods.com. I will leave a link in the description. Um, I like mine. I really do. Folks, be kind to one another. Keep on vaping and take care.